Mina Justice E.M. Tijan, welcome to Science Network Discovery in Education. Well, today again, we're there at the Government Secondary Technical School. Who say we get for continue for talk to students, them, teacher, and also head of institution for Tewi. What's in the happen inside the book learning business at the school? Hello, welcome to Science Network Discovery in Education. Can you please say your name? My name is Grace F. Tolly. I'm from the Government Technical School. So, Ms. Tolly, how long have you been here for? I've been in this school from SSS1 and to SST, so I'm in C I'm coming my six years now in this school. So we understand that you are the head girl of this school. Yes, sir. Okay, so um, in your period of academic, you know, time in this school, what do you think, you know, you would like to share with the public? Well, as for me, according to my own observation in the school for six years now, I believe we have good teachers, although there are some bad ones among them. And also we have, all the people we are committed, some of us are committed to our work. Although also there are some, they are not committed. They are just there to cause problems for us. But I believe, and even the school environment is conducive, conducive for us. Okay, so tell us about the learning system in the school. Is it effective? Are you guys really enjoying the, the, the learning system in the school? Yes, I believe from JSS1, as from my, from my own experience, from JSS1 to SS2, it is very effective. We enjoy the learning process, but when it comes to SS3, we have some challenges in SS3. And what are some of those challenges? Okay, so when we're in SS3, there are some people who will not attend school because they think they are, in, they, are, they are now in SS3 and they can attend other classes. But some of us will attend because, because for example, if we have 50 people in one class, if 10 decide to come today and the, and the 40 don't come, the teacher will not teach us really 10 because they will come in the class, oh, you're not playing, so I will not teach you. And I believe we that came, we, want, we, want, we came because we want the education. And we shouldn't be deprived because of the others who, who are not in school. I believe they should teach us. So have you communicated this? concerns you know to the teachers for them to know that you know because of others not coming to school you guys coming should not be deprived have you communicated that yes i tried to meet some teachers and talk to them but some still are giving excuses so as the head girl i met a uh, madam i talked to her and she promised us that she will come in and talk with teachers so has that been going on Yes, I think he held a meeting with us and parent and the parents, our parents and some teachers. She discussed some of the issues and I, she also talked to some of the teachers, but some are stubborn. They will not listen because she's a female. They could say, oh, this is too much. They will not listen. But some, since then, they have been coming. Even if we only have five people in the class, they will come and, and attend to us, but some will not come. And especially for us that are in SST, as for me, I don't have money to pay for extra class. I only depend on the school teaching. So that's why almost every day I'm in school so that I can get, I can learn. But some will not come, but some will come. Okay, so you, 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 you made mention of extra classes. So um, is it that it's because of the extra classes the teachers conduct outside that is making them not come in, like um, to teach in the classes? Well, I believe that one, that is one of them. I will not say that is the main reason, but that is one of them. And some also are, are teaching in some private schools. In the morning, they will go in, that, in, the, in those private schools, teach, and in the afternoon when they come, they will, just, they will be tired because you cannot exhaust yourself since morning to, to evening. They will be tired, so they will just prefer to sit at the, at the staff room discussing politics or discussing football. I believe that is the problem. Okay, so the worst exam is just around the corner. Do you think you guys are okay? or are fit to face the worst exam? Well, I don't know for those who are attending extra classes, as for me, that I'm not attending extra class, and for now, I'm not 100% sure, because because of the teaching, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe okay, I'm not up to 80%, but I need that 20% for me to face the, the worst exam. So, what would be your last message, you know, to the Ministry of Education and also to the teachers in this school? And to, to the Ministry of Education, uh, I want to thank you, sir, because he has been so committed to his work as a Minister of Education, and I love his passion for us. And the only advice is that let them put more monitoring system that will monitor the school. We have the free, free quality education, yes, it's going on, but we need in 
people that we monitor the schools because there are some they will just come and sit down without teaching and also the people some will just come be up and down without, without going to classes but if we have people that will come in from ministry to come out to come out to, to come and let me say look around what is going on to come and monitor i believe that will stop and to so the teachers please we know we cannot pay you because of what you are doing for us but you have you have sacrificed to teachers and i believe god is watching you do your job sincerely i think that is my message to them thank you for talking to us thank you sir welcome welcome to sir network discovery and education can you please say your name my name is Umuhawa Bari, and I am attending the Government Secondary Technical School. Okay, Ms. Umu, so how long have you been here for? I have been here for two years now. So I started there at SS1 to so now, so two years. Okay, so two years in this school, what exactly can you like, point to say, okay, this is what I like and this is what is happening that is making me more committed as a student in the school? Well, since I came here, I really don't like something because like with some of the teachers, they really don't teach us because sometimes we go and call them and sometimes they don't even come to school. We have, I am in the commercial stream and I have two teachers. The one is literature and the one is biology. Since SSS wants to now, they are not teaching us. We don't have any idea in those topic we i even go to madame some of us we go and talk to her and she talked to the teachers but up to now they are not teaching us unless our colleagues who is attending extra classes sometimes they will go and write some notes on the board and explain few things to us but that is really affecting us because we are facing the worst exams now and uh, we still don't have any idea in those topics and that is really affecting so because not all of us can afford money to go extra classes so that is the thing i have for that okay, so as students have you ever asked what is the reason teachers not coming to the classes to teach well to be honest i really don't know because even madam has talked to them over and over again unless sometimes she come down and assist us but i really don't know the reason behind that why they are not teaching us okay so as students you know in the waiting class to face the public exam do you think this will affect you guys yes it will affect us because as for me i don't i'm comf i came from a poor background so i don't have money to attend extra classes i only come to school so it really affects me because i know sometimes we we should um shout on google and read but we really need explanation too so that when they teach us we explain it will make sure to understand better because you know what was is not a what i don't even know what to say but it will really affect us that is that is the main problem i have here okay so like um all of this happening in the school have you ever taken these concerns to your parents guardians you know to know exactly what is happening Yes, I talked to my aunt about it, but you know, I she asked me to talk to Madame, and I have done that. But up to now, it's not working. Up to now. So, uh, what message do you think you want to give, or you want to call on the government? Well, I really want them to help us to discipline the teachers so that they will come and teach us. Even if they have one person to come around and know what is going on in the schools, if teachers are teaching or if they are not teaching, even if they can provide one book so that when if teacher come today, we write down the name and the subject and even the topic so that they will, if, because if they do not do that, the teachers will not come to teach us but if they do that maybe they will come and teach us because if yeah that's all what I have to say all right thank you for talking to us okay thank you welcome to Saga Network Discovery Education your name my name is Ibrahim Jalo Ibrahim Jalo okay Ibrahim Jalo how long you don't there for for five years now sir I've attended this school for five years okay so from five years you know attending this school what can you tell us about this school well I can say um, the school is good because since my five years I attended there, since JSS1, um, the school is really nice. Yes. Okay, so um, from five years, you know, spending your academic time in this school, what do you think has changed? Is there anything that's changed in this school? Yes, sir. There is a lot because from my JSS, I mean, the school was um, serious with the academic work. But now in the SS level, I think it's different 
because um, the teachers are not coming to school regularly to teach us. They prefer um, to go to these other schools, these private schools. And when they are done with the private school, they come here now, they don't even teach at times. They sit in the staff room um, talking about unnecessary things. So um, only some or few of the teachers that are teaching us because I'm in the SS2 right now and most of our teachers are not coming to teach us. So have you ever asked um, why is that happening? Like um, have you ever asked or are you guys asking why are some of the teachers not coming to teach you guys? Yes sir, we, we've been asking why they are not coming. But the, the madam, um, sometimes she is the one that is really helping us because when we go to her and tell her that there is no teacher in our form, she sometimes help us to locate the t um, to locate the teachers. But the teachers at times they tell them to come t to teach, but they don't come. Like if they come today, the, um, the next day they won't come. Yes, sir. So, so how is that affecting you as you know people in service school? Well, it is affecting us greatly. Because when they draw the exam, is general. So if this form is not having teacher that is coming to teach the form, and the next form they have teacher, when they draw the exam, the ones that don't have the teacher are going to suffer from it. Okay, so now tell us a um, few things about um, the free education, free quality education. Is the free quality education really effective? Is this functional in the school? Yes, sir. The free quality education is functioning in the school because we are not paying school fees. Yeah, and it's helping us and it, they are even sharing us textbooks so because some of us don't afford, can't afford the money for textbooks. But the free education is really helping us, sir. Okay. So is there any areas, you know, you wish to call on the Minister of Education or the government to look into? Um, yes, sir. I would like to call on the government to look at and the school um, well, because we don't have the water facility and a toilet area also, sir. That's th those are the areas I would like to call on the, the Minister of Education, sir. Thank you for talking to us. Okay, thank you, sir. Welcome to Sagan Network Discoveries in Education. You can please tell Fambulen your name? Well, my name is Usman Koguma. Okay, so Usman Koguma, tell me how long you've been in this school for? Well, I've been in this school for the past one year and I'm almost getting to two years now, sir. So, two, almost getting to two years. So, in, in that period, what? Is your assessment in the educational system of the school? Well, to my own point of view, if I might tend to grade the assessment is something like 65% in terms of the educational um, status of the school. Because why there are some um, people who are not coming to school and there are some teachers who are not coming to the class to teach in order of they are giving um, silly excuses which are not vital in terms of the educational system because you have been paid to teach and instead of you to come to the school and teach you have started giving some excuses and that's why I think the excuse they are giving is not even vital because if you are given a responsibility you need to see how best you can uphold that responsibilities Okay, so you say um, some people hardly come to school while some teachers don't normally come also to teach you guys so have you ever asked what's the reason for all that? Well, I had, let me say, due to my own um, investigation about some teachers not coming to school, like some teachers are not coming to school to teach because let me say the one thing is that they have they are teaching two schools where they will be uh, in the morning hours to teach at the private school and in the afternoon hour they come back here to teach. So some teachers when they have been teach in the morning hour at the private school they won't bother again to come to the uh, government school here to teach. Reason mean they have exhausted themselves. So even if they um, attempt to come in the school um, and the afternoon hour to teach, there will not be enough energy again to pour on us. And they will be teach, but no uh, more energy will not be for them to teach us to our own understanding. And you are teaching someone to understand. You are not only totally teaching someone for your own and uh, self interest. You are teaching someone for that individual to understand what the um, to understand the message you are trying to pass in to that uh, individual. Then due to the students, some are very laggard, but they are given an excuse. We are going to see um, transport issue, all those stuff. But we have seen the government have now provided um, this um, free education, then they provide school bus for us. But some, instead of them paying their own money, will stand, say they are waiting for the school bus until time have gone, then they return back home saying, oh, the school bus doesn't come to pick me, so I will return back to my home. So that is not an even a, a 
very vital excuse for you to go home. At first, there was not the school, but people were coming to school more punctually. We are you will use your own money to pay for for you to come to the school. But now, due to this um, laggardness of some people, for them not to come to school, they will take a mere excuse about the school bus. That is one. Then two, they will see they have illness. Despite you have an illness, for you to show that yes, you are having a really illness, you should come with your medical papers to the school. But you will not come with your medical paper. Then you started complaining. You have an illness. You have a burden. All those stuff. So they are not better excuse because if you are trying to give an excuse, you should bring a proof to show that yes, what you are saying is very vital here yeah, and is very is true. You are saying, but you cannot say you're not, yeah, you are not uh, ill. Then you don't come with the medical paper. So that means it's just in my of uh, it's just a matter of you not coming to school. That is just a silly excuse for you not be coming to school, sir. Okay, so um, as you are saying, let's come to the teachers, okay? So now, you say um, some of the teachers hardly come, or even when they come, they hardly go into the classes to teach you. And I know that is affecting you because some of your colleagues have already stated that. So what are you guys doing to see that you fill that gap? In as much the teachers are not coming, or even if they come, you know, they have the time to go into the classes to teach. How are you guys filling those gaps? Well, due to all the sciences, because, you know, we have some uh, guys among us who take some uh, extra lesson. So we'll mobilize ourselves, be in one class, try to see how best we can control the class. Then that individual will then stood up and try to pass on what he has been learned in his own previous lesson that he has been teaching at the house. See how best he can um, communicate it to us so that we too can learn from it. Then we will have great, uh, let me say, WhatsApp forum. But it is not for idleness, but that WhatsApp forum is there to teach us too. You can go in the uh, internet, chat for some past questions, then you forward it to the WhatsApp forum. Then we we'll see how best we can solve it. Then we we'll forward the answer to in the WhatsApp forum. By so doing, we we'll see how best we can see, how best we can learn to ourselves, despite being the teacher coming to class or not coming to class. Because let me say, education doesn't mean that once what the only thing that someone will give you, but you too, you have to seek something on your own. So that's why the teacher are coming to class, or either not coming to class. We too, or have been trying hand in hand with, uh, with our colleagues to see how best we can move on in terms of our education. Then, by the reading of our textbooks too, when we are at home, we normally, because, let me say, due to the, um, when we come to the interview, we buy those textbooks for all the sciences. We have biology, chemistry, physics, all those stuff. So we use them at home, study at our leisure time. When we are at um, this is the time for us to study. We use it to study appropriately so that we can know and know what we are about to do. Because we are not sitting this exam for the class, but we are not taking a class exam. We are not here to pass any from one class or another, but we are here to prepare us for going to start the baker. So we are going to sit the baker to come out excellently. So on that note, if we say we are just only depending on teachers, standing lenient, that will not help us any. Any, anyways, we are just leaving ourselves behind. So on that note, we are been trying and in and with our friend to how best we can cope up by them coming with their own extra lesson notes to come and um, introduce it to us and we can learn from that too, sir. Okay, so in going forward, what message would you like to send you know, to the ministry and also to teachers? Well, first I want to start with the ministry. The message I want to send to the ministry is for them to start monitoring teachers doing school to school monitor. See how boys you can see how teachers are very um, competent in terms of their teaching. Provide a list where if a teacher comes today at school, that place will be where the teacher will sign to show that yes, this teacher is inside uh, inside the school and he has been teaching. Then he should sign the date at uh, the time he has, he has arrived on the school and it, um, how long it takes to teach. Also, he will sign other book. So by that doing, you will see teacher will be, um, will be afraid. By if them if they say they won't do that, let me say, teacher will just be laggard, they will just be leave, um, sitting at home. Whenever they think to come, they will come. Whenever they, how they feel to teach, they will teach. And they are not teaching for themselves, they are teaching for us to understand. So I'm trying to create an indulgence to the Minister of Education or the Minister of a Senior Basic and Secondary Education to see how best they can start school to school supervision, to see how best they can uh, at attack teachers who are not teaching, to see how best they can see what they can do to make them be teaching. Because if you ask some teacher, they will say, um, they are not paying us adequate salary. They are not doing us this way. Not doing. But if you check out to all that, I know that they see that the empty bag cannot stand. But if you say they are not paying you um, um, salary, that is not our fault. You have to give that complaint to the ministry. It's not, we, we are not the one that is paying you. 
the minister the one that is paying you have to teach us to also understand then later you complain that 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 we you see are not paying it to the minister that they could see how best they can attack that problem so that is it sir ah, thank you for talking to us yeah thank you too sir Una Sef Don Yegi from the school picking them now government secondary technical school what's in the non say concerning the land book business and the school and Usai then the facing challenges and also the call on the Ministry of Education for calm look into. When me we bring you the program, me na justice EMT Jan, I want to say Baku thank you to my executive producer, we na Dr. Isatuka Kejalo and also to my cameraman we na Sky Mohamed Bangura. So till we meet again to another Discoveries in Education, I want to say salam.